Hey everyone, it's Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today we're at beautiful Sanctuary Ridge Golf Club in Claremont, Florida, and I'm going to teach you how to hit the flop shot. What an incredibly fun shot to hit once you know how to do it. So my objective today is to get you to understanding the principles and the setup and how to swing it to actually go out and practice it and get some confidence so you can take it to the course and play this shot. So there are different types of lives when you get around the green. So you can't just say, hey, you set up this way for a flop shot. Well, it depends on the situation and how, what kind of lie you have. So if you have a lie that's a tight lie, or you have one that's sitting down, or you have one that's actually sitting up and it's fluffy and you got a lot of grass underneath it, well, that's the one we're going to talk about now is the fluffy lie where the ball is actually sitting up and it's a different setup than the others. But let's go over that one. This is a common one when the ball is kind of sitting up in that first cut of rough around the green. I'm going to show you the setup points. Okay, first of all, I got a 58 degree with 12 degrees of bounce. You could use a 60, 62, 64 degree. Um, but what's significant here with this shot here, we're going to be hitting it with the bounce of the club, not the leading edge. So I'm going to be hitting with the bounce, not the leading edge. Okay, so when we set up, we're going to make sure we open that club face up first. And then we're going to make sure we take our grip after we open the club face. Then we're going to get our feet right underneath our shoulders and we're going to have the ball position inside our left foot with our balance of our weight 50-50 from left to right. Okay, we're not going to be leaning one way or the other. We're going to be equally balanced. Okay, the handle of the club when we set it down is going to be even with the club face. We're not going to be forward pressed. We're not going to be behind. We're going to be about even with that club face. Okay, so you can see I've got some rods down here for alignment, and let me ex explain what that is. This is going to be a normal lie here, like if we're lining up parallel to the target, that blue flag. Well, since we're opening up our, fit, our, our club face, we're going to have to open our feet up and aim left. So this one here is for our feet, it's aiming left, and then the rod back here behind the ball is actually, that's actually where we're going to swing the club path going back. So that's just important to know. I would do this if you haven't hit this shot and you're trying to understand what you're doing. Take some time, get some rods, put them down. That way you got some visual references that will help you. Otherwise, it, it can seem strange in the beginning. So I would highly recommend doing this kind of type station with these rods when you're, when you're starting out. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through one here. Uh, other big point of emphasis after that setup, I'm going to bend my knees more with this shot and I'm gonna maintain my knee flex a lot and I'm gonna be mainly just swinging my arms. It's gonna be a pretty full backswing, but I'm not gonna move my head. My legs are gonna stay still and when I come through it, my arms are gonna keep moving and I'm not gonna stop my arms and flip or scoop. That's probably the biggest thing us professionals see is amateurs do that. They stop their arms, their hands flip and it's not a good outcome. So. All right, let me go through the routine here and hit a shot for you. Hope I can hit it close. Oh, that's a good one there. Yes. All right. I would take that all day. My buddies would be going, what in the world are you doing? That's incredible. Okay, so such a fun shot to hit. I can't explain how much fun it is, but you need to take what I'm doing here, go out and practice it around a chipping pitching area. Make sure there's nobody around. You don't want somebody on the other side while you're swinging this, while you're trying to gain some confidence because there is a lot of arm speed with this. But practice it, get some confidence with it, and then hopefully you can take it to the golf course. All right, so for more great videos and blogs, please check out barnhillgolf.com.